The question is, write 0 minus 26 minus 9 as a linear combination of 5, 3, 7 and 2 minus 4, 1. Show that 1, 3, 5 cannot be written as a linear combination of these vectors. Okay, so what would it look like if it was a linear combination? Um, linear con combination is made by adding multiples of vectors together. So it looks like this. I'm going to put my vectors as columns because um, usually when I'm doing stuff with vectors it is columns and it's going to take a little less space. So let's see. Um, I've got the vector 5, 3, 7 and I've got the vector 2, minus 4, 1 and I want A plus B of that would be coming out to naught minus 26 minus 9. That's what it would look like if naught minus 26 minus 9 was a linear combination um, of the other two vectors. Okay, well, let me just have a look at what that equation is. On this left hand side here, I've got in the top coordinate 5a plus 2b and then 3a minus 4b and then 7a plus b and that vector is supposed to be equal to this vector. Well in order to be equal um, all three of the sets of coordinates should be equal so actually I've got three equations. Like this. And I know how to solve equations like that. I can just write it as an augmented matrix and do row reduction. So let's see. 5, 2, 0, 3, minus 4, minus 26, 7, 1, minus 9. And look, my vectors turned out to be the columns in my matrix. The two vectors that I'm trying to use to make the linear combination are on the left hand side in the coefficient section and the, quest the vector I'm trying to make as a linear combination is in the answers section of my augmented matrix. That's pretty cool and I reckon it would happen every time. So I could probably cut out all this other working I've done and go straight to here. Alright, well let's solve these. I'd love there to be a 1 here um, but if I divide any of my rows by whatever's there, I'm going to get weird fractions. So I think um, I might see if there's anything else I can do. So that would mean um, next, after I've got a 1 there, I'd love there to be a 1 here too. I can get a 1 there by swapping rows. So let me do it now. I'll put that minus 4 back. So if I do row 2, sorry. If I do row 2 swaps with row 3, then I'll get 5, 2, 0, 7, 1, minus 9, 3, minus 4, minus 26. Okay, so now I could get the 0 above and below that 1 there. So row 1 is replaced by row 1 minus 2 of row 2 and row 3 is replaced by row 3 plus 4 of row 2. Yep, that'll do it. So let's see, I haven't changed row 2. Row 1 minus 2 of row 2. So 5 minus 2 times 7 would be 5 minus 14, which would be minus 9. 2 minus 2 times 1 is 0, as we hoped. And 0 minus 2 times minus 9 would be plus 18. Okay, so down the bottom I have row 3 plus 4 of row 2. So 3 plus 4 times 7 would be 3 plus 28, which would be 31. Minus 4 plus 4 times 1 is 0. Minus 26 plus 4 times minus 9 would be minus 26 minus 36, which would be um, minus 62. Okay. Well, row 1, I can now divide by minus 9. So, so row 1 is replaced by minus a ninth of row 1. 
So that would leave me with 1, 0, minus 2. And hey, actually, row 3 I could divide by 31. And I think I might do that now so my life's a bit easier. So row 3 is 31st of row 3. So that would become 1, 0, minus 2 as well. And I'll leave row 2 as it was. Oh, cool. The top row and the bottom row are the same. So row 3 gets replaced by row 3 minus row 1. And row 2 gets replaced by row 2 minus 7 of row 1. OK, so we didn't change row 1. Row 3 became zeros because row 1 and row 3 were the same. And 7 minus 7 of times 1 is 0. 1 minus 7 times 0 is 1. Minus 9 minus 7 times 2, so 7 times minus 2, would be minus 9 plus 14, which would be 5. OK, so I'm there because I've got um, A equals 2 from this equation and B equals 5. So therefore A equals t minus 2, sorry, and B equals 5. So to write 0 minus 26 minus 9 as a linear combination of those other two vectors, I can write minus 2 of 5, 3, 7 plus 5 of 2 minus 4, 1 is equal to 0 minus 26 minus 9. So let's just check. Minus 2 times 5 is minus 10. Plus 5 times 2 is plus 10, which gives me 0. Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6. 5 times minus 4 is minus 20, so I get minus 26. Minus 2 times 7 is minus 14. 5 times 1 is 5, so minus 14 plus 5 is minus 9. It works. So I have written 0 minus 2 minus 26 minus 9 as a linear combination of those other two vectors. Now the next part of the question says to show that 1, 3, 5 cannot be written as a linear combination of those vectors. Well that means I'd be doing the same problem again. So what I'd be wanting would be to have my... I'd be wanting to have my 1, 3, 5 here, which would put my... 1, 3, 5 here, which would put my 1, 3, 5 over here. Now, let's see. My row operations were not actually based on my answers column, they're based on my coefficients columns, and so the same row operations should get me to the end point. So, let me just um, rub out these and go from the answers I've got. And go from the answers I've got using these same row operations. So row 2 swaps with row 3, so I swap the 3 and the 5. Row 1 is replaced by row 1 minus 2 of row 2, so 1 minus 2 times 5 would be 1 minus 10, which would be minus 9. Don't change row 2. Row 3 is replaced by row 3 plus 4 of row 2, so 3 plus 4 times 5 is 23. OK, so row 1 is replaced by minus a ninth of row 1, so minus a ninth of minus 9 is 1. Keep my row 2. Row 3 is replaced by a 31st of row 3, so I get 23 over 31 here. Row 2 becomes row 2 minus 7 of row 1. So let's see, 5 minus 7 of 1 is minus 2. OK, um, sorry about that. 
just thought my answers were wrong but I think I'm okay and then down the bottom here row 3 becomes row 3 minus row 1 so 23 over 31 minus 1 whatever that is okay well let's have a look at my answers here the first two columns are fine but my last column has 0a plus 0b equals 23 over 31 minus 1 and that um, is not possible because I can't get 0 plus 0 equal to anything but 0 so these um, equations are inconsistent so that must mean that all of this is wrong that must mean that all of this is wrong so we have no solution for A and B therefore 1 3 5 is not a linear combination of 5 3 7 and 2 minus 4 1 now I should point out that if you've got a computer handy or a ca calculator that can do um, row operations you could have done all of this by just going to the straight to the reduced row echelon form of that augmented matrix um, and that would have told you the same answer so feel free to to do that if you've got a computer handy but you need to know how to do these row operations if you haven't got a computer such as in the exam